David Wilkie from Poly Line Industries. Uh, we've been playing with Poly boats for the last 10 years, and this is a bit of an introduction to what we're or where we're at now with these boats. Uh, we've hit the 10 and a half metre mark, aiming for a bigger, and um, I hope you enjoy it. We're very proud of what we've achieved and we're getting better and better at what we're doing and the boats uh, are just impressing everybody that's had anything to do with them. They're very quiet, they, they don't pound, they um, don't require painting, they uh, impact resistant, they're not corrode, they have no electrolysis and just so many advantages that at the end of the day the cost of ownership for a commercial application is much more reduced than any other type of vessel um, and the results are proving themselves. We've got boats in the water that have been there for 10 years now and are still in the same condition as when we first built them. We feel that we're where Austral Ships was 30 years ago, the, the first aluminium boat at that time was 30 feet, which is the size of these. Uh, 30 years, who knows, we could be building 50 metre vessels. So, um, so these are the first fabricated, or the biggest fabricated plastic boats uh, in the world, but they're also the biggest conventional hulls. You'll notice most plastic boats that you might see uh, are rib styles, which means they've got the pontoon, floating pontoons, and a lot of people have thought that you needed to build a poly boat like that, and we knew you didn't. So we wanted to build conventional style hulls, which were these are, with bulkheads and proper boats, uh, and that's what we've done here. We've built. So for the client, it's, they have a, a product that's serviced in Australia by Australians and looked after by us. Longevity, who knows, 20, 25 years? I mean, you, you, your engine will run out of life before the boat does. Yeah. The material floats on its own, so in the event that something does go wrong, the boat's going to float. Um, these have got bulk heads and flotation built into them as well as that and because it doesn't corrode you know that those voids are going to be watertight for their life or they're airtight so the boat will never sink ever. <laughs>